Hey y'all, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thanks for joining me. And I am 37 weeks and two days pregnant today. I'm gonna try to get this up tomorrow, so I'll be three days oh, three days pregnant. Um I Friday the big news Friday night. No, yeah, Thursday night. Thursday night. I was feeling kind of achy and kind of crampy. I didn't really sleep very well and then Friday I was cramping and my back really hurt really bad. I like over did it or whatever on Thursday. Um, we were at, we went to my friend's house, Tony, she's a LuLaRoe consultant and we were um, picking up some of our Valentine's Day leggings and stuff like that and um, it was really hot in there. So I can remember, I think that was Thursday, yeah, so anyways, um, I was standing up and trying on a lot of clothes. And then Friday I was feeling really crampy, really achy. My husband went to Tampa that day, so I was really scared because he wasn't there and I thought my labor was starting, I didn't really know what to do. I was bouncing on my ball, but I did lay down and it kind of went um, in and out, so I wasn't sure if there were Braxton Hicks or not. Uh, Saturday, it felt kind of the same. It was like kind of coming and going sometimes, but not as like, I mean, they're painful. They're not like, I can't talk through them or whatever. Sunday, um, see, yeah, you'll get, to, yeah, um, like they've been kind of happening on and off and today at library school. We were sitting there, I was, I'm feeling kind of crampy. Um, if I sit on my ball, I feel kind of crampy, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I have an appointment on Thursday, hopefully I'll make it to Thursday. <laughs> but I've been feeling crampy again today, my back's kind of hurting again today. And um, so I don't know if she, my mom, who's a nurse, says she's getting ready. Uh, which, if that's the case, that's fine. Because now I'm getting like, okay, well now I'm ready. But this could, be ha this could probably happen for like the next three weeks, I have a feeling like it's just like, it's never gonna end or whatever. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. Cause then you just get like exhausted and you just don't wanna do any, like you just, and I already feel that way. Like I don't wanna do anything, my house is a mess. I don't, the only thing I can really do is laundry. Um, that's like my biggest thing that I've been doing. Like it's driving me kinda crazy that the house is a mess, but I feel like I need to get ready, like get her, get things ready. So if I make it to the weekend, I might uh, get Ben to like, Bust some moves. Um, so, I mean, I thought about walking today some, you know, just trying to see what that does. I mean, I know sometimes like things can pick up and slow down, pick up and slow down. Uh, but I mean, it's not like getting too intense or they're not consistent. Uh, so, like they went away and then they kind of come back and they go away and they come back. And, I've been able to like eat and stuff and I feel better sometimes after I eat and then it like comes back slowly so we will see um kind of what happens I finally got everything I need for my hospital bag and for Adeline's hospital bag so I will I did an Adeline's bag video but um my mom sent me that outfit and all the y'all see that she sent my mom bought her coming home outfit so I will just redo it and show that show the what we're gonna bring her home in um because i didn't have it in the first time first time around i did it so that's where we're at with that i do want to do like placenta placenta stuff i was gonna do encapsulation but now i don't know if i want to do that i kind of just want frozen chunks maybe just to put in smoothies i heard that really helps your recovery and stuff and it's pretty easy in florida to get a Placenta release, you just sign it. I asked my friend, you sign it in the hospital and then it's yours. Um, I'm not sure if you can like take it home or whatever. I really don't know, but I really need to contact somebody about that because I um, want to do it. Like, sometimes I'm like, do I want to do it? Do I do want to? Like, I keep going back and forth about it, but I heard it's like really great for your recovery and stuff. Um, I also need to, what else do I need to do? I kind of want to figure out if I'm going to labor in a tub, what I want to wear you know I think I'm just swimsuit bottom 
You know, because you don't deliver in there. So whatever I'm going to be wearing, I have to take off. So we bring in. That's what I've been kind of figuring out, like trying to figure out what am I going to, you know, wear or do. I don't really want to be in a sports bra, but I do have one. So maybe I'll just bring that. I mean, I don't Oh, flipping no. Because <laughs> I know when you like deliver, you want to, I need to talk to my midwife about this, like doing skin to skin and delayed cord clamping and like nursing and all that stuff. So I want to be able to like have access to my boobs and stuff. Um, but yeah, and I watched a couple labor and delivery. I watched a natural birth. They had a tub on YouTube. This girl, um, she got in the tub for a little bit and they like got out. And um, so I was just kind of watching those, listening to a hypnobirthing lady. She's very interesting to listen to but she said a couple things that um you know maybe I'll try to remember um I know it's all about breathing and stuff which that's kind of nothing I'm worried about like I do get very anxious and I know with Emmett it was they were like breathe don't push don't do this but breathe and breathe and breathe and breathe and like you I really want to be calm but I'm worried I won't be able to get calm so I guess I just need to get that out of my head because uh, I know like you cannot dilate or whatever and then I'll be put on Pitocin which I don't really want to do so I really need to keep that in mind and just know I did it once I can do it again and it's it'll be okay and we I talked to my friend I think we're just gonna drop her drop Emmett off especially if it happens during the day or um, I mean even if Ben's co-worker has to stay I think maybe through the night, um, but if it's like not on the weekend, I'll probably drop him off at my friends and then uh, maybe somebody can come and pick him up like in the morning or I mean whatever. So I'm, she said it's not a big deal. I just feel bad like giving her somebody extra. But anyways, I just gotta, I don't think that's what I'm gonna do because I would feel better if he was here instead of with us in the hospital because I don't, I kind of want my husband, you know, just to be there. You know, if I need some type of support or you know, just whatever, ice chips, I mean something. So, um, I'll probably talk to him about that today. So, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Um, nothing exciting. I don't know if I'm dilating. I really don't know if I'm dilating. Maybe on Thursday when I have my midwife appointment, she'll check me maybe. I don't know if I really want her to check me because sometimes, like, you just get discouraged and stuff like that. So, um, I'll show you my belly, like... She's moving a lot and it's still kind of painful. It's low. Pelvic pressure is still there, like my pelvic bone. Um, not necessarily feeling pressure like in the birthing canal quite yet, so we'll see. Maybe I'll, like I said, I'll try to walk a bunch later tonight and see if that really does anything. Try my belly. I forgot to say my pregnancy update um, that I think I leaked milk I did have like a yellowish kind of spot not on my it was like next to my <laughs> like nipple area I guess you could say so I'm not sure if I tried to look um so I don't know I kind of want to see if I should uh I don't know I just thought it was interesting because I didn't really do that yet with Emmett um and I know like my boobs have been kind of really sore too lately so I forgot to say that because I woke up and I was like, oh, I think I leaked. So um, I know some people leak really far or like um, really early and stuff. So I just thought that was interesting. Anyway, here it is. My belly button's still kind of flat. But I'm not really sure if she's dropped necessarily and still wearing LuLaRoe. It's my fave. <laughs> Thanks for watching and stay tuned for 38 weeks if I make it that far. Hopefully I will. I think I will. Anyways, bye.